Hey there, today I'm gonna show you how I built a camping box inside in a Volkswagen Tauric 2004 about the car, it's uh, all-wheel drive for 5 liter turbo diesel And for the weekends, I decided to build this car that we can go outside and enjoy such places as here. So, let's start with the kitchen. To put it in and take it out, it takes around 10 minutes. Uh, I will add video to see how easy it is to take it out and put it in. It's attached on two screws in the front, but it doesn't uh, slide when you drive and you brake. Here is slide out kitchen. It comes out on this heavy duty slide that can hold up up to 100 kilos and this was the most expensive part of all build. All build costed around 300 francs which is slightly more than 300 dollars. So here we have an oven compartment for cutlery and uh, some other stuff. So. Here is one more extension for the kitchen. Comes on just like this. I use storage shelf holders for uh, this uh, holder. Actually, all bills I have filmed separately, and you will find that video in the description below. So here we have sliding out one more table. Uh, as I mentioned, this slides are heavy duty so there is no problem to put a lot of weight here or cut and cook it will hold it for sure so over here there inside we have 15 liter water it comes out just like this and comes up over here here we got foldable sink it has a hole actually here so if you like you can add the holes and it will go down but we're using just like that at the moment so and you can have a water here right here is a gas cook it's a very simple with a gas cartridge inside I have a compartment just for two more battles extra because uh, one of these cartridge runs just one, one and a half hours. And uh, over here I cut it from aluminium uh, wind protector. Over here kitchen towel comes right here so it's easily accessible. We have, we have quite few these foldable trays. It's, uh, very convenient, you can store them and when you use them they're actually quite big. It's a pan, it's a camper pan, it's easy to store but still you can use it as a normal pan. Mocha, there is no way to survive a day without coffee. And actually we have a 220 power, I'll show you it later. This is quite long storage for uh, cutlery and the food and pans or pots and Actually, everything goes here. It's uh, 40 centimeter wide and uh, 80 centimeter long. And uh, on top of it comes one more foldable desk like this, and uh, using as a chopping board here as well. Of course, light for the night time. It's a uh, rechargeable on magnets so we can attach it wherever you want what about i like about this slider that they are locking so you can put in any level card and it will not slide inside or outside then you just lift it up and lock it in same here it's just locked and it's closed and this one i made on magnet it's a quite strong magnet, so it holds it well. The mattress here is actually made for Volkswagen California, and surprisingly, it fits here very well. Uh, so bed itself is one meter forty wide and two meters long. And uh, let me show you how it's folding. So here we are at the back door, and uh, 
So remove the matters, it's quite easy, you just folding three times. <laughs> Bed system is quite simple, it's from uh, three parts and two parts, this one is actually removing. And when we are traveling, this front part is just folding in. And that's pretty much it, this is the driving position. The seat is almost at the rear position, which you would never use it as like this. And it's still not touching the bed frame. Uh, I built the bed frame to be able not to remove the seat. And because it was way too long to remove the seat and put the bed, so at the moment it takes just five minutes, the bed is in or out. And here underneath is still a bit storage left, so you can put the clothes mostly what we put there under and maybe some tripods and camera gear. And uh, as you see, when we, when we don't drive, the toolbox is in the front. And when we are driving, we will usually we'll put it here and uh, secure with the bench by pushing it back. So let's talk about blinders. Uh, I bought just two meters to two meters, one huge blinder and uh, I just cut it for each window, just like that. Didn't work around it, so yet maybe we'll do something later, but it holds just like that. And let me show you how. That's how it is. All around. Well isolated holding not falling down so what I did to keep it holding I just cut it a bit longer and uh, I just folding it like this in and in the edges the front one is holding just uh, it's holding just uh, with uh, sun visors As you can see inside the dark it's actually very nice to use front one just like that when we use it To keep the heat away and yeah as you see it's all what it is just folded in and stuck in the edges and it's not filling out and what is very nice about the back window that without any holders it stays there you just have to open the window to take it out talking about mosquito net we have for the front doors and same ones you can use for rear doors too so you just put it over hold the door like that you have a mosquito net so from this side see it's nice can open the window and uh, no bug will get it. So this is a tent we got, it's the uh, first time we'll actually install it and uh, yeah, looks like it does the job, it will protect from rain and sun. I'm talking about the power supply, as usually we travel with uh, e-bikes, we have to charge them. Uh, we have from EcoFlow, this EcoFlow Pro battery. 
which is 720 watts and uh, it's doubling up with one more so at the end you get 1.4 kilowatt you're connecting them just with this cable uh, what we like most about them that from 20 to 80 percent you recharge them just in one hour if you plug in somewhere or as we are on the road we have a 160 watt solar panel which comes in this suitcase it's very light and portable so you just take it out unfold it you have just this cable which straightforward you connect into the battery and it starts to charge so if you use just this one battery it's 700 watts and uh, when you connect them together you have as I said 1.4 and uh, you can use up to nine devices in the same time or equivalent 1.2 kilowatt so it has power inverter inside we went uh, for uh, uh, international plugs because uh, in Switzerland we have different than in Europe and we have both of them and uh, over here you have a light you have a USB and C USB inputs here you have a screen which shows you how much you're draining how much you're charging and how much battery is left and approximately how long it will take to recharge it and uh, over here you have a just a normal uh, DC socket and uh, as this battery comes just as a extra power it has a just here on top a screen which shows you if battery is full or empty and uh, where to plug the cable solar panel itself it's uh, 160 watt and uh, it's very nice it has this suitcase where you can fold and as you saw we storing it uh, under the bed and the batteries we putting uh, behind the front seat to connect both batteries you just will plug this cable one side goes here and it's super easy you cannot uh, mix them up and uh, from this side you will just uh, plug it here as I mentioned before uh, the most favorite part about them that uh, if there is no sun and the batteries are dry when you go to any coffee shop or whatever in one hour just recharge the batteries that's it about this camping car setup I hope you enjoyed the video as I mentioned I will leave the description below the all the process how I built the, this setup and uh, if you like this video leave thumbs up thanks for watching and see you in the next one cheers